Welcome in to the Kansas City Chiefs Report. Power by Chad Sports Tyler Jilts here with you. Thanks for joining us. The Kansas City Chiefs have made multiple roster moves. We will catch up to speed with everything you need to know on your Kansas City Chiefs coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, folks, got a little challenge out there for the kingdom. Our record for most new subscribers on any video for the month of November is 115. Not bad but I know we can do better. I'm looking at you. I'm looking directly into camera one right now. I want you to subscribe to the Kansas City Chiefs Report, and let's get 150 new subscribers today for daily Chiefs coverage, live shows, watch parties on game days, breaking news, Q&A mailbags. It's all right here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report. If you're a diehard Chiefs fan, you got to be subscribed to the channel and the best part about it, 100% free. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. A couple changes for the Kansas City Chiefs as they have signed wide receiver Tyquan Thornton, formerly of the New England Patriots, to the practice squad. And they also released Cornell Powell off of the practice squad as well. Let's tell you more about Tyquan Thornton, the newest member of the Kansas City Chiefs. A 2022 second-round pick out of Baylor by New England. Was a fantastic player with the Bears in all Big 12 selection. He was released just a couple days ago by New England and a bit of a surprise considering how high they were on him just a couple of years ago and with the Patriots retooling that wide receiver room there was a belief that Tyquan Thornton was going to be a big impact player for New England. Ultimately that did not work out. 28 career games played with 13 starts in his career and to be honest with you Tyquan Thornton really hasn't done much. And what Brett Veach is doing here is he looks at a guy that certainly has potential, that the scouting report we're going to show you says a lot, that this guy can do some things, but he just hasn't put it all together at this point. You look at his career numbers, and so far in his young career, he's only had about 39 total catches for 385 yards, Close to 10 yards of reception, two touchdowns off of 76 targets. But the thing about Thornton, he looks the part. If you were to say, all right, what does a wide receiver in the NFL, what are you looking for? You're looking for speed. You're looking for height, athleticism. He has those things. He just hasn't put it all together. He is a project player. And for Kansas City, this signing makes a ton of sense. Even though he hasn't put it together, this is a low-risk situation where you put him on the practice squad, see if he shows you something, and then potentially give him the chance to get on the active roster. He can't be any worse, you would think, than Sky Moore, right? I mean, come on now. Here's the scouting report on Thornton. A long athlete with good height, excellent long speed skills, flashes wide range catching ability. He's a willing blocker as well. We don't say that a whole lot about wide receivers in the National Football League being willing to take that extra step and be a good blocker. He is that. But he does have small hands, and size matters. Does have some issues with drops at times due to those small hands. And we talk about the speed that he brings to the table. 4.28 40-yard dash time at the NFL Draft Combine just a couple of years ago when he was coming out of Baylor. How would you grade the signing? I'll give you my grade in just a moment, but want to hear from you guys first. A, B, C, D, or F, what do you think of the addition of Tyquan Thornton to the Kansas City Chiefs? Weigh in the comments section on our pinned comment today and let us know. Today's show is sponsored by Price Picks. Price Picks is the place to go for daily fantasy made easy. Here's how it works. You choose two or more players in any given category. Get the choice of more or less, whether you're talking fantasy points in football, rebounds in basketball, goals in hockey, all sorts of different categories to choose from. Go to pricepicks.com slash seal at S, promo code seal at S, and they got a great deal they're offering you right now, folks. They will give you $50 to spend for free when you play $5. You don't even have to win to get the money. This week on Prize Picks, a look ahead to the Chiefs-Panthers game this weekend, going with Patrick Mahomes to have more than 236.5 passing yards. And I got Xavier Leggett the rookie receiver for the Panthers, to have less than 39 and a half receiving yards. If I put $20 down and both those hit, that turns into $60 on price picks. 
Play along with me, pricepicks.com slash seal at us. Promo code seal at us. The link is in the comments and in the description of today's video. Price Picks, proud partner of the Kansas City Chiefs Report. Glad to have them on board here on today's show. My grade, I'm going to go with a solid B plus here. This is a player that I don't have any problem with putting on the practice squad and seeing what he could potentially do. But the reason why this is a B-plus compared to an A is that so far his time in the National Football League, he has shown nothing. What this signing means for Kansas City, kind of looking big picture, and this isn't just any practice squad signing. What this signals to me is that when you look at the wide receiver position for Kansas City, that Brett Veach and Andy Reid are continuing to put their efforts in to try to get this position right. We saw what they did bringing in DeAndre Hopkins, and that was a big deal. Juju Smith-Schuster you have back from injury, and that's huge for this team. You're going to get Hollywood Brown back in time for the postseason. But as they go along here, this team still hasn't quite figured it all out when it comes to this group. Xavier Worthy has had his moments, but he's been inconsistent. McCole Hardman has been mostly a special teams player. Justin Watson has been okay at times, and then he's just kind of missing. If they see anything they like out of Tyquan Thornton, there's a, there's a spot open right there on that depth chart that he could potentially slide in. There's a chance, if he proves himself, that he could get activated and he could see time on the 53-man roster for Kansas City. This is a huge opportunity for him. And Brett Veach, he likes his projects. I imagine that when Brett Veach was in middle school that he loved the science fair and putting together those projects because Brett Veach time and time again has found guys that other teams have given up on and turned them into something. We've already seen it this year with Juju and Kareem Hunt and among others. There's no risk, no risk at all for Kansas City to give Tyquan Thornton a shot and see if he can bring anything to the table at this point in time. And I got to tell you, as I was reading more about Tyquan Thornton and seeing what people were saying, this comparison I found fascinating. The comparison that was thrown out there by Nick Jacobs of 41 Action News that does a great job with uh, KSHB, the NBC station in Kansas City, he compared him to former Chief Chris Conley, saying he might be Chris Conley 2.0. If you found the second coming of Chris Conley, I would gladly take that on this Chiefs team right now. Here's more from Nick Jacobs of 41 Action News. He reminds me a lot of Chris Conley in his size, long arms, and hint more of speed. He really shines in vertical slants and deep posts. Thornton can run a slant, stop, change directions, and accelerate the opposite way to take it to the distance. And we know that Andy Reid loves himself some speed. And if the Chiefs can find more ways to stretch the field and take advantage of that, then that will go a long ways. And maybe even the special teams game, potentially, Tyquan Thornton could get involved in and help out and kick and punt return coverage and use that speed. And then you don't have to use some of your other key players in those special teams roles, potentially, and have Tyquan Thornton fill in instead. And that way you aren't risking injury on some of your key players and special teams, potentially. Charles Goldman of A to Z Sports had this to say on Thornton. It's easy to see what attracts Kansas City to Thornton. That's speed, something you simply can't teach and something that Andy Reid knows how to use in his offense all too well. And boy, does he ever, folks. What is your one-word reaction to the chief signing Tyquan Thornton to the practice squad? I'll give you my one-word reaction in just a moment, but when I hear from you guys first, weigh in the comments section, let us know what you think. My one word, this is all about the speed. He's a speed demon, folks. And if they can find a way to utilize that speed and get him on that active roster, I think this is a natural fit for what Kansas City is looking for. As uh, a wise man once said, all gas, no brakes. And that's what I'm looking for from Tyquan Thornton. I want to see him put the pedal to the metal. For continuing Kansas City Chiefs coverage, subscribe now to the Chiefs Report for the latest happenings on your favorite team all season long. I'm Tyler Jones. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.